welcome back now what you're going to do is we're going to create a master layout from this template and that is one of the benefits of blade template inheritance and sections and we're going to be using some of these blade directives to accomplish that so inside the resources views folder let's create a new layout a new folder and i'm going to call it layouts Then inside the layouts directory, let's create a new blade file and name it as master.php. So this will be the master layouts. We're going to put some of these parts of this template to that, to this master. So now you can open the index. And to make it simple, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy or to move all these parts from this template for example let me move all the part from the doctor declaration all the way to the nav where the nav ends that is check out for this html comment the site header use the cut command to move it to the master now here we need to yield the content by using the yield directive and if you remember what you said about the yield directive Yield directory is used to display the content of a given section. So which means if you yield this content, it means we will start a new section on this part. So I'm going to section to start a new section. And I'm going to call it this section as content. Then I'm going to end that section because every time you start a section, you must use the end section directive to end that section. So end section. Now here we need to yield this section by using the yield directive. So yield and I'm going to call it content. Remember those must match. The name must be the same because we are now yielding this section and this section we have named it as content. So the yield, we are yielding that content now. So if you change this name also remember to change the name from the section you are yielding now let's move another part the index from the index view let's move this part from the categories all the way to the footer all the way to this part end of html use the cut command to move it to the master and save Now what we need to do is we need now to extend this master to this index view. And if you remember what is it about extend directive. The extend directive specify which layout the child view should inherit. So in other words, we are telling Laravel that the content of the file extend another view. Which is also our master template. So extends. Extends and the directory which is layouts dot notation and then the view which is master and save now let's see from the browser just refresh the same same view and as you can see our view is still intact which means it is working perfectly now if you look at this master again you will notice that it has this category section this part the category part and it has also this other part for the form we have this form part where is it no not the form but i think this category only so which means now if we extend this view or this master to another view it means it will pull all this content to that view so what i'll do is we only want to up the category section or the category part to appear only on the home page we don't want the category part to appear in any other view so what we do is we use the include directive and if you remember what you said about include directive the include directive 
allow you to include a blade view from another view. So which means it pulls that content from that view. But that one we're going to do in the next lecture.